Our number one concern whenever we install a fireplace in your home is going to be your family's safety. Again, whenever we st install fire in a box and then decide to put that in your living room, we need to make sure that everything is done safely. The best way to make sure that we follow everything safely is follow the manufacturer's instructions. In other words, what they test and what they design that fireplace to do is what we need to follow. The main thing you need to be concerned about on the manufacturer's instructions, and you can do this on um, the owner's manual, is, is following all the clearances. If you're installing the pipe like this, make sure you keep your clearances on the top and on the sides and on the bottom. Again, whatever the manufacturer states. The other thing is, is around the front of the fireplace, your mantles um, and everything else like that. Make sure you follow those. Now, the best way to do that is, is go to the manufacturer's websites, follow the links, and click on the fireplace or stove that you're going to be getting and look at the owner's manual there. Now, don't hit print because sometimes those owner's manuals can be 50 to 80 pages long. So again, don't hit print on that. Just be aware of the safety concerns. Now, within each different type of fireplace, let's say a gas fireplace, this is actually a gas valve of one, out of one of our gas fireplaces. Each fireplace has its own safeties built in. Like on a gas fireplace, the gas valve itself is designed that if something goes wrong with that fireplace, it shuts itself and doesn't let gas through. Usually what happens in that is if something goes wrong, you're going to call me and say, hey, my fireplace stopped working, what's going on? And again, usually what happens is something happened with it and it shut itself down. Now, the reason it's designed that again is so that it doesn't keep putting gas into that fireplace. One thing also to be aware of on gas is that there's two main styles of gas, natural gas and LP. Now, natural gas is going to be lighter than air, so it's going to dissipate out through the piping, whereas LP is actually going to be heavier than air, so it's going to pool down at the bottom of the fireplace. Now with wood safety, the number one thing is going to be, again, the amount of heat that it creates and making sure you keep the inside of the wood stove and the piping clean. So always be concerned about, too, in front of the, the wood burning fireplace or the wood burning stove, don't set things in front of it, decorative items and things like that. Because if you open the door to refuel it or if you have a screen in front of it, you can get sparks that pop out and possibly cause a problem there. Now the last style is biomass. Now biomass, again, is a sealed door. You don't have to worry as much about that. You're putting the fuel in on the top. But still, the biggest thing with biomass stoves is that if they, again, sense something wrong, they're going to shut off for safety. So now you know more about safety. And again, always follow the manufacturer's instructions and what they term is safe with their fireplaces.